Okay, real quick before we start this episode, I want to apologize real bad for the for the audio quality last time. I apparently did not pay attention to the boost of my microphone, so <laughs> that's why everything sounded a bit on the uh, unbearable side. So again, I deeply apologize for that. That has now been fixed. Let's get on with this episode. Oh man, look at that waterfall. Such detail. Such color. Such... Color? What color? It's white! It... It... Okay, my mind just went to a dark place. Let's just forget that happened. Hey, yo, people! Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX. I'm Whiteblade Zero, and if you don't know me, I don't blame you. Last time, we started Big Story, went to Twinkle Park, and... Uh, b -b 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 and Ice Cap, got ourselves the... got ourselves the, um, the Life Belt, Power Rod, and a couple of lore power-ups. Not to mention ran into Tails, but he couldn't really keep a good grip on our slippery friend. This time, we're continuing with Big Story by returning to Station Square. At least I think that's where we need to go. Go to Station Square. You may find something. Yeah, you see that, folks? Big isn't just dent isn't dense. He just has very small eyes. That's all. So of course, next stop, Station Square, and another cutscene, which doesn't really make much sense to me. That robot! I'd better go after Amy! Anybody for Frogger? <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking when I saw him crossing the street. Didn't you? Anyway, I apologize about that little pause back there. I didn't realize we still had to control ourselves first. So you can probably guess where we have to go next. Emerald Coast. It's been a long time since we went there. Probably since we started our adventures. Huh. See what I did there? But we're not going in there just yet. We have some unfinished business to take care of. We did collect a few animals in Twinkle Park. Now, let's see where little Comet went. Gotta be... There you are! Hey, buddy, I missed you! Come here, I know I'm big and scary, but... I'm still your buddy. Yeah, you know who's got ya. You know who can take care of you, little bud. <laughs> okay, enough of the, uh... Pity party. Big has to be pretty close to these things to pick him up, so that is an issue. That glitch I've been mentioning before, I definitely don't recommend Big or the next character for this. Because, you know, they're huge. Well then again, the other character you can probably guess by now is Gamma. That's okay, I guess I can recommend him, because he actually picks him up and puts down pretty fast. But Big, yeah, I don't recommend. Of course, I'm trying not to put down big, but, you know, it's just what it is, and you're going to try swimming again? Really? Ah, uh, Comet, when are you going to learn you can't swim yet? You haven't developed enough. I gotta find more swim-type animals, and keep them. Are you in the water again? How do you keep getting in there? I swear, we need that monitor robot thing to really keep an eye on him. Make sure he stays out of the water so he don't drown. That's the last thing I need for my little buddy. Here, have a mushroom. You need to build your stamina. Okay, for the most part, I'm just going to be shaking some trees and getting some fruit out for him. Then I'm going to meet you guys back outside where we start Emerald Coast. Not much for shaking trees and giving them fruit. Those trees just did not want to bear fruit. I swear. So our next stop, 
Emerald Coast, and this time we got some different background music, and I like it. Yeah, this definitely suits the easy lifestyle Big loves. Just loves to, li to lie back, take it easy, and just, you know, have a good time. He's not really into action like Sonic or the others. It's probably what people hate about him. He's not really a fan of action. He just wants to take it easy. You know, just have a nice, easy, lazy life. Isn't that what we all want sometimes? Just to have a nice, easy life. No worries, no problems, no responsibilities. Sure, we all dream of having a life like that. Don't you think? Okay, so before we go fishing for Froggy, which is where we just were, you know, he was right there. There's something cool I want to show you. It's a nice little secret they, they, they gave us here. It's actually quite a ways away, but... Oh, well, at least I get to enjoy the music a little more. Maybe even get a few more rings, just because. Sure, I got a lot from that trick with Knuckles, but... Well, it never hurts to get some extras. So this pillar right here. You dive down, you go into this little cave here. I suggest just keep holding onto that A button, because if you let go, Big will get stuck in the ceiling, and... Won't be able to move until you press the button again. Okay, uh, on second thought, now would be a good time to press it again. And let go. We're in this secret little area where there are a lot more fish. This is pretty much the best place you want, you're you going to want to be to collect to get some big fish this time. If you really want to get some big fish. So, if you're already ahead of me at this point, and you're just trying to get more emblems, then go ahead. Come right here and get some big fish. You know, since his name is Big, he needs some big fish. Boy, there are some whoppers here. And I don't mean the kinds you get at Burger King. I'm talking like real Whoppers, like big, big clunkers. But in any case, enough about all that. Let's get back down there and catch Froggy, because that's all we need to do around here. Also, I, I should probably mention, if you have a little child business to take care of, I suggest doing it before clearing this stage, Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck. You're gonna have to wait until the after game again. Yes, it's one of those situations. What does the hint orb say here? There's a secret passage somewhere. Go and find it. You're a bit too late, there, lady. We already found it. So jokes on you. All right, I think we caught all. We got all the rings we can collect and defeated all the enemies. Not that that's a big deal. So. Let's go fish for a frog. Right there. Come on, froggy. Come on, froggy. Come on, froggy. Here, buddy, 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 buddy. Come on, little tadpole. Come on, gotcha. Alright, this won't take long. As usual, froggy is very easy to catch. He won't be a problem at all. We're almost done. He's coming. <laughs> He's easy. He swam right to us. How nice of him. How nice. Not too bad. However... Froggy? Uh-oh. No! Hold on there! Come back, please! Give me my friend back! I'm begging you, please! Froggy? This 
place doesn't look familiar to me at all. Mm, smells like froggies around somewhere. Let me go see what's behind this door. So now the question has been answered. How did Vic get on the egg carrier? He was following Gamma. But there may be a bit of a contradiction to that later on, but that that's not going to be a big deal right now. <laughs> not going to be a big deal. <laughs> How did I not see that before? So if you're wondering why I'm going back to the prison, it's because, yep, the final lore power-up is right here. Providing I can... there we go. There it is, the final lore power-up. Now we can catch as big as, a big fish as possible. That was quite a big jumble on the old voids, and... That actually doesn't look like the biggest lore. I think there's a bigger one somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Pretty sure there was another. Definitely seems familiar. Well, I'll figure it out sooner or later. But right now, we gotta go into our final action stage with Big, the Hot Shelter. If he can get his big feet in there. There's a funny little glitch you can do here. It's just for fun, it's not really a game breaker. Just press and hold and whoop. Okay, I said... Okay, never mind. Now, usually before when I press and hold and get that cursor out, Big just floats up. Just kind of flies upwards. So I don't know what happened there. All right, gonna grab this shield because we got a few more enemies here. And they're being a bit aggressive this time. All that for us. A moon flying skunk. Another shield and a, and a run power up here. Never thought you'd see, you'd see a fat cat run that fast, huh? So actually I want to get rid of this shield. I don't need it anymore. So, alley hoop. There we go. No, uh, no more silly shield. I don't need no shield. Uh, what I need is to get out of here. There we go. That's better. Now that we're in here, we have an we have an in action stage cutscene. Thanks, Froggy! Looks like he needs my help! Never thought you'd see that, did ya? A cutscene inside an action stage? How often does that happen? Not very, honestly. But then again, it did happen last time with Amy's final stage, so I guess it makes sense for Big as well. So, as you remember from, a from the time Amy was here, we got we gotta press on the switch and release that H2O. That releases all the fish in those tanks, along with Froggy. Now, there's something I should warn you. I'm hoping I don't get it this time, but there is something of a glitch that can happen in this stage. Sometimes when you catch Froggy, he'll get all the way up to the end of your rod, but he'll be stuck there and it does not count as a catch, and you won't be able to cast again. It's a very weird glitch, so I have no idea what causes it, but I'm hoping I don't get it this time. Or ever. Because it... Hey, I held down on the button, so why didn't he... Why didn't he... No, latch on. Eh, I don't get it. Now, there is a secret area back here, but honestly... Well, then again, I am going in anyways. I believe there's a spot here where you can raise the water level even higher and catch a few more fish. But, no, oh, This is it, and, it, and what do you know, it has a checkpoint. Pretty unusual. Let's see, I think that's the switch, or... I wonder what this thing has to say. Warning. There is a plug in the center. Be careful not to trip over it. Ah, uh -huh. so that's what that means. I believe if you trip over that anyways, it releases more water somewheres. 
and can actually explore more of this stage. Come to think of it, I think that might be where the last power-up is, but I don't want to waste time in getting it. I'll probably get it some other time, because for right now, I want to catch my little buddy. And I'm not talking about Comet. I'm talking about the other little buddy. There he is. Alright, let's catch you this time. And he is going the opposite way. Kind of a problem sometimes. Sometimes he'll just swim away where you're, where you're going. Kind of, kind of annoying. And, yep, there he goes again. Come on, Froggy. Notice me. Notice me. Notice me. Notice me, senpai! Yeah, I honestly question where that came from, too. Alright, come on. One more time. One more time. I don't want to attract those sharks. I want to attract Froggy. Where is he? Where'd he go? Where did he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's gotta be around here somewhere. Yeah, where... There he is. Gotcha now. Gotcha now, little buddy. I gotcha. I really love that dance pig does, by the way. And on the adorable side, I think. He just loves to party. Too bad. Yeah. We're together again at last, huh? Huh? That's strange. Where am I? Froggy? It's happened again. Apparently even Big needs to see a vision of the past. And... You're pulling the knuckles on me here. You're walking very slowly in place again. Well, I guess this funny little glitch here is a good place to stop. Next time on Sonic Adventure DX, we're going to explore this place a little bit with Big and see what kind of strange event we need to see this time. And afterwards, hopefully we can escape with Froggy in our possession. Until next time, everybody, I'm gone.